Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. Today I'm here with Walter Keller of Safety Harbor Firearms. We, Walter, are talking about a work in progress that I have going on. This is the Reap Weaponry Psy. 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 And it's, as you can tell, a bullpup. It's also based on the BRN 180 300 Blackout Upper. Right. Right. And uh, yeah, work in progress. We're kind of like tweaking this down feeling it out yeah, yeah. it's this is would be like a sbr bullpup too yeah. yeah yeah so we're gonna get all into this right now walt's gonna talk about uh because he's been putting it together he's gonna talk about issues things we need to adjust all of that we're also gonna take a look at another sigh let's do this <laughs> So this is a CMMG descent upper that we have on the 556-223 in the Reap Weaponry lower. Really and truly, it, there's a regular lower on these, right? And yeah, there's then the an Reap, AR-15 lower inside yeah. the Reap chassis. The, exactly, that's the best way to put it. So Reap sent this to us, this whole setup, they put it together. We're testing that out. We had them actually on the podcast, Who Moved My Freedom. And then I bought their chassis, as you said. I bought that online. They had like a sale and all that kind of cool stuff. And what lower are we using? Because I see it says, depends, see the poop, see the pope. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? That's the Palmetto what? State uh, oh, yes. <laughs> talking about our uh, illustrious president. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That is Remember funny. Remember him in his diapers and stuff? Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Okay, yeah. that is funny. Yeah. That I just reckon, realized that. <laughs> you just saw that, huh? Yeah, so PSA lower going into the side yeah. chassis here from Reap Weaponry. And the BRN 180s and 300 blackout. Yes. What would you say about this, putting this all together? I had a couple tries of getting it to assembled right. I read the instructions mm -hmm. and, you know, but after I messed with a little bit, it went together and I understood what I was doing wrong. And, okay. And it wasn't, it wasn't that big of a deal. Ready? Yeah. Got to got to get. Go, go center mass. There you go, you hit it. God, I'm having a hard time focusing my eyes. Low. There you go, center. Ah. Low. Low. I just got hit in this by the scope. You hit it. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, you need it a little bit higher. I gotta probably. have it higher. I'm straining. I'm straining to get to the even my goofy shooting right-handed. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I might prefer more gun <laughs> to hold on to. More gun. Yeah. All right. Are we good? Yep. All right. Here we go. Going to chamber around. Let's try this sucker out. All right. Let's get it on my face. Oh, let's put it on fire. That would help. Fire one, fire two, fire three, fire four. What am I doing? What didn't I do? Chambered around. Oh, two fires, forgot. You have two safeties. Time out. Okay, gun works fine, shoots fine. These things are eating me up. Yeah. <laughs> so, because um, I got to get my face so far down into it. All right, so. all right. Here, but let me let me try it. Yeah, try it out. So I'm gonna shoot this man-sized target on the left. Okay. Man-shaped. Okay. 
I'm gonna go center mass. It's on fire. You ready? Yep. You hit it. I feel like I hit it, yeah. Again? Let me do that one more time. Uh, or you Below the hostage. Yeah. Right shoulder. Right shoulder? Yep. Let me do it again. Hit. Right shoulder? I didn't see where, but I just heard it ring. I missed that one. Okay, I'm going for center mass. Hold on. It feels like it's hitting it somewhere. I couldn't tell it. In the, let me go to uh, let me go to the gray one. The one on the right. Yeah, I'm going for center mass. It hit it somewhere. It's rocking around. So. Yeah, it feels like it's hitting center it center mass. mass. Huh? That was center mass. Okay. So yeah, this is as Walter said, relatively on. What the hell is eject over here, Walt? Uh, it's the same uh, clip for the magazine? Yeah. Go on the other side. Same button. Remember, this thing has two safeties. Yeah, they're both on fire. It's not bad. Shoots good. Yeah. Shoots good. Okay. All right. Let's see this. Lock back. Okay. So, there we go. I am gonna do, I'm gonna just rotate, like alternate between these two here. good I think just like Walt I had enough shooting <laughs> it's beating me up <laughs> as far as us shooting it um, you need to have a really tall optic mount I think that's the biggest issue we've got here we need another riser on top of like if you noticed in here these kind of are already a little lifted but we need more yeah and yeah, it, I guess uh, it, dep it probably depends rise. on the person I mean I got mm -hmm. a big nog so um, yeah, you know, I really got to work to get my face down. Well, yeah, you want to get your head. I, I agree with you. Yeah, it needs yeah. to be comfortable, not where you fight to get down yeah. into it. But um, yeah, so that's something that we're going to work on. That's not really a big deal no. to, to get done here. We're just we're actually right now just um, testing this one that came from Reap Weaponry, and then testing ours as well because right. we're kind of I've got some plans of what I want to do with this once we make sure it's functioning well. So I noticed that you've got the um, charging handle for this on the right hand side. Is that because you're a lefty? You're afflicted with uh, left handedness? Is that what's going on there? <laughs> well, Can I mean, this, is, this, is, this mm -hmm. is standard BRN oh, okay. 180 uh, charging handle. Oh, so we can't flip it no, to the other side. Oh, right? that's, I yeah, that's how. Right. Oh. You can't do it. These are both right hand guns, so. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I can shoot right handed too, but then it. Yeah. It, it, it really makes it difficult when you, you're having a yeah. height thing with a scope, but, you know, with yeah. the sight, but. And but. just in case anyone's wondering, what I was going for is not just a 300 blackout bullpup, but one is that shorter, so that everyone likes a bullpup because if you're in a car or close quarters, it kind of shrinks your footprint a little right, bit, right. just being a bullpup. But when you make it shorter, it's even more so. Yeah, and I've yeah. never actually had one of those, so I want to see yeah. how that is. 
it's not bad. I think a thing that makes a big difference between what Reap Weaponry has on the Descent upper that's here. This is kind of rough, man. Well, that's there. Going into that's the, the shoulder. Reap, that's yeah. the Reap butt pad here. I made this one yeah. out of parts that I had in the that shop. That looks familiar. Yeah, it's like that's the same a 50, one I use right? on my 50 <laughs> cal. It's a Pacmire. It works. Um, but it, it's a little more... It's more comfortable, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, and, uh, you know, get in the but that's that's a personal thing. Everybody's got different. Uh, yeah. No, I like that. Yeah. I think that's a good way to go. So, what do we need to fix on here, other than the? Um, obviously, we got to do better with our optics. Yeah. So higher, higher, higher mount. Yeah. Um, and you know whatever you want to do out front, if you want to do can yeah. or something like that. Um, I think I do want to put a can on there, or go with an integral um, suppressor built into that barrel. We'll see what we can actually work out. What do you think about the the thigh? No, it's 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 it, they did a good job making it look like a bullpup. Yeah. A lot of the conversions out there have this chunky, blocky look to them, and they don't yeah. look real. And good. And this is polymer, right? Right. Yes, that's injection molded. Yes, mm -hmm. correct. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, no, and they, yeah, I think I think they did a good job at it. Mm -hmm. I just think you have to tune it to your own taste. So to yeah, speak. I, I agree with that. Yeah. And it does have two safeties. I think that's a big thing to recognize here because you've got your safety on your lower and then obviously they moved one on their chassis and up one front. Up here too, yeah. yeah, so you've got both of those. Um, I know talking to the to the guys on the Who Moved the F My Freedom podcast, I, I came to the conclusion it's probably better to leave it that way. Liability wise, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. You got to worry yeah. about that stuff nowadays. Yeah. But, well, just, you know, leave one on fire and use one safety, whichever yeah. one floats your boat, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, when you're dealing with um, a bullpup, you've got to think about that, you know, how that particular yeah. thing runs. You got to train your for that. Your controls are all here, you know. You're yeah, not going to be messing up. with it back here. Yeah. You know. That doesn't bother me so much. I think that on this one, the magazine releases on this side and not on the other side. Right. right. And and for some reason I'm I'm looking for it over there as well, but that's kind of a thing you can come in with your thumb, press it, pull it. Yeah, uh, you know, sort of thing. This one, I think, has it on both sides. Oh, it does? Damn it, yeah. yeah, and you can do that if you want to. Let's flip this over. So on here, you don't have that. I'm not sure if you could do it on the the BRN setup, but on here, you do yeah, have that. Here, you yeah, have that. Yeah. I don't know if this is a bad lever or what it is, but... Um, so there you go. So you can push that and, and then get it out, whereas here, you wouldn't have it. But it looks like you could get something under there yeah, if you I'm want. Sure. I know when some room. of these, some of the can, um, people, when you use the Psy mm -hmm. uh, chassis with uh, one, of the, one of the other ones, they had to actually modify the chassis a little bit, cut a little bit out with a Dremel tool to get it to uh, work. I forget okay. which gun that was. But, yeah. um, it might have been the PSA rifle. Oh, upper. okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, I like the direction we're going. I want to, you know, push forward with this. I don't know what you think about that. So uh, the sure, optics thing we could I'm deal sure with I'll easy. I'm sure I'll get pushed though. whichever way you yes, want. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going all the way through yeah. with it. So, yeah, we uh, need to okay. make that a little tighter. Well, that, it's that a little that's, that, that's my fault on the installation of the adapter. I didn't tighten it up real tight. Okay. So that's not. That's mm -hmm. not. It just needs an yeah. Allen wrench on it. Yeah. No, I think it's a cool idea. I like this idea, and you don't have to go through any paperwork, so far as I know, to get this because you got to do your paperwork no, on the, the lower. No, the paperwork is on the lower. Yeah. 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 In this case, what you guys are seeing here is a short barrel. You know, uh, Walt's a manufacturer, so we're we're building it into that. Yeah, um, otherwise, you can go this way, 16-inch barrel, and you're yeah, fine. Yeah. And you still get a nice 14 with a two-inch yeah. break or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah. Um, um, what would you think on this? Would you like to see them go bigger calibers? Got any thoughts, ideas? Uh, I, you know, I, you know, uh, seven six two thirty nine. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be interesting. I mean, um, three oh eight. Well, I guess you could. Mm -hmm. Um, but then you get heavier as you get three oh eight ish. You know. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean. Yeah. I think fun. it's a good idea. I'm going to avoid putting like giving you guys too many details here. I'll run that stuff in. We will come back and do more of this. I've already put out a short of this one of the um, CMMG. Right. So that's cool. I'm a fan of CMMG stuff, the things they build. I think they do cool stuff. And uh, the, the beauty of this is you can really, instead of waiting for a bullpup, you know, I'm not like a super fan of kit bullpup, so to speak. I prefer them. I, you know, I collect bullpups. Are you yeah, aware of that? Yeah, I heard that somewhere. <laughs> so 
But what I collect is the ones that are purpose built. But what I like about this is it gives you that flexibility. Let's say you want to do, um, I don't know, you know, what's uh, like five seven or something like that. Well, yeah, you whatever you can, uh, whatever upper barrel yeah. assembly, you, it'll fit with the. Yeah, you can go that caliber. Yeah, yeah. three hundred seven six two thirty nine. Mm -hmm. You know, that could be done already, right? On that, on I uh, probably. I feel like you can. I think there's some adapters, it's, right? Uh, or some AR that. style uh, stuff. The out BRN one eighty is, I think, available in seven six two by thirty nine. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I think it, it is. is. Yes, yeah. you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, that's yeah, another, yeah. another, yeah. another, another thing. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. I want to make this brief. I don't want to get too in depth with it. We're going to finish it up. Let us know what you guys think. Is it crazy? Do you, do you hate like, bullpups? Do you hate? Yes. Go ahead. Let can, the hate. Let the hate so all good. With you. All good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm immune to. I'm immune to that at this point. Um, what, or how would you do it? What would you build out of this? Or if you've got questions and stuff like that, hit us up with it. Um, you could go check out the podcast as well. Who moved my freedom? Walt's on there. Babyface is on there. Is it snowing? No, that's because we're burning that's stuff. That's ash. That's not yeah. snow. We were out here. <laughs> we were out here doing yard work before we even shot any guns. Walt and Lola and myself, like, uh, we had some trees and stuff that fell with all the storms and we're cleaning up the rain. So, yeah. man, you're putting in work, Walt. I thought I was supposed to be working for you. Now I'm going to owe you some yard work. I don't like Ozies. <laughs> <laughs> you have to catch me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. When it's 30 degrees outside, we'll do yard work. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Make sure you guys check out Safety Harbor Firearms as well as stemparts.com. Stemparts, yep. Lots of cool things come in there. Yep, yep. Catch us on the podcast. We're still doing it. We're over a thousand episodes. Yeah. Walt. God, it's been a long oh. time. Yeah, man. We've been putting in work 17 for 17 it all started. Yeah. Yeah. So over a thousand. I don't think anyone else has done that no, in the gun world. No, no. You, you, We're you, pioneers. You no, know, you boldly went where a lot of people... <laughs> don't dare to go <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of podcasts out there and some good ones too so we i appreciate all the different uh two-way podcasts had quite a variety of, uh, of of hosts in your thousand yeah lots of folks rain. lots yes. of people on there yeah. it's been fun and we're still doing it so you guys will see lots more people on there i'll see you see you guys on the next one we're out Bill pups. bam bill pups forever <laughs>